Hi, today I'm going to show you how to mix up critical care um, herbivore solution and how to syringe feed your guinea pig. Um, we use critical care um, for those pets that either after surgery to make sure that they're eating enough or if they're sick and haven't been eating or losing weight. Um, this is a supplement that helps um, get them the nutrients and the calories that they need. So on the back of the bag, it uh, makes one part product with two parts warm water. Um, and depending on what the doctor, the veterinarian tells you, that's how much that you feed. A lot of times you're going to break it into three to four feedings a day because you want to get their stomachs moving and you want to get their guts really um, getting that food and nutrients going. Super important for these little guys to make sure that they're eating. Um, so this is the warm, one part food. And this, I already had it prepared with the warm water to two parts. And we're gonna go ahead and mix it up. You can use a spoon, you can use a tongue depressor if you have it. Um, we will provide you with a syringe um, and let you know exactly how much they're going to need, how often. So this is a great consistency. It's not too thick, it's not too watery, and it's gonna fit through the syringe. Sometimes you have to kind of go around in there in case you get a little chunk of it. If it's a little too dry, you can go ahead and add some more water to it. And I kind of just tap it. And then push up and down because there's a little bit of air in there, which the air is not going to matter as much, but except you want to get the accurate amount. So. With these little guys, um, we do what's called a guinea pig burrito to keep them still. So Ashley's gonna go ahead and hand me the towel and I'm gonna show you how to try to feed on your own. You could definitely have somebody else help you out um, if you have somebody. So when you're doing the, the you kind of put your hands over their eyes a little bit so they don't try to run and you get over their rear ends. And then you go ahead and all you need out from these little guys is their little heads, like that. What I like to do is I like to have them kind of all lean down and have them in the crook of my elbow. And then I go ahead and a lot of times these guys love the critical care, so they don't bite you. So if they don't bite, you can even put it in a small container. Obviously, we love the critical care, so we could have put it in a small container after we measured it out. Um, or if they didn't, you would do a burrito like this, and you would just slowly, I put two of my fingers in between the syringe like that, um, just so I don't squirt it all in there. Oh, we want some more. He definitely thinks it's amazing. And then you just do slow increments. Sometimes, um, it's helpful to have a wet paper towel or something like that to wipe up underneath their chin. They'll get a little messy, especially if they're not um, as willing to want to eat this. When they aren't wanting to eat it, you wanna make sure that you go as far back as you can with the syringe like I just did. Don't be afraid to get it back far so it's, it makes them want to swallow and continuously chew like that. If you're still having issues and they're just not eating, definitely give us a call because it's very important for these guys to continuously be eating. Um, and so you would give us a call right away if you noticed anything. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thanks, bye.